The dog in the manger. A dog, asleep in a manger, filled with hay, was awakened by cattle, which came in, tired and hungry, from working in the field. But the dog would not let them get near the manger, and snarled and snapped, as if it were filled with the best meat and bones all for himself. The cattle looked at the dog in disgust. How selfish he is, said one. He cannot eat the hay, and yet he will not let us eat it who are so hungry for it. Now the farmer came in. When he saw how the dog was acting, he seized a stick and drove him out of the stable with many a blow for his selfish behavior. The moral of the story is, do not grudge others what you cannot enjoy yourself. All Singaporean? No sh no, is it cool if I grab your number though? No, no. I can't, I can't take you on a date? Oh, okay, okay, no worries. What's your name? Ashley. Huh? Ashley. Are you from Australia? No. Already? Already? A woodwork. Already? What? That's fun. Oh, you can use your, your number? Who's this? I have no idea what this girl is. What's your name? I'm from, you know me, I'm from Singapore. You're from what, Afghanistan or something? No, I have no idea what this girl is. Aesop's fables written as far back as 6th century BC, who would have any idea that these tales of morality would have such a pertinent display on modern dating? The Dog in the Manger is one of my favorite childhood stories because it taught me way back then that it doesn't do you any good to gatekeep something that you have no use for, that you have no desire for, to keep it away from someone who has all the need in the world for it. Imagine her surprise when she turned the man down and not only did he not spaz out to give her a story to tell later on TikTok about how some guy was sweating her and how he wouldn't go away when she wouldn't give him her number, but that he took it with grace, he took it with dignity and he took his ball and went home and he found right around the corner in this case an even more attractive girl who was receptive to his advances. Already? Yes, already. You dropped the ball, you fumbled, Miss Ashley from England picked it up for recovery and ran a touchdown. Gentlemen, please understand. A lot of women in this world have no use for being loved, but they want to be instead desired. The validation is a drug for them, and they simply cannot live without it. So, learn a lesson from our friend here. You approach a girl, for those of you who still want a cold approach, you make your move, you shouldn't go for it, don't get upset, don't yell, don't scream, don't fight, don't fuss. Dust yourself off, so have a nice day, have a nice life, and go on about your business. Remind yourself of two things, gentlemen. Number one, Planet Earth is a very crowded place. And number two, where you are in the world or what time is on your end, midnight is always just a few hours away. Hey man. Is your best friend? Yeah. You never f <laughs> well, How long are you going to keep leading him on like this? You're paying this whole bill? Don't pay the whole bill. You're splitting it. You want him? Hey, you want him? You got him, huh? Hey, sit next to her. Put sit next to her. Empty chair in here. Hey, 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 she's your best friend. She'll understand. I love comedians, mostly because they're probably the last people left in our society who can say what everybody else is thinking and couch it with a little humor because you can't have a joke that's funny without it being somewhat true. He saw right through it. This chick has had this guy on the string for God knows how long. He's a good guy. He's not a bad looking guy. He probably makes good money. Looks to be in decent shape, but he's been trapped in the friend zone. Looking at the size of her, my guess is he's known her for a long time. Probably had a kid or two in that time he's known her. And so she's blown up along with that. But he still sees her in his eyes as the girl he couldn't get back in high school or college. Man, this comedian is the wingman every guy needs. 
because he saw through it, called it, and then he set up the play for him to go with a female who's been eyeballing him the entire night. What a great happy ending to this story. Not for her, of course. She's pissed. She's upset that her free validation. She's upset that she's going to pull out her purse to pay for her food, which I'm probably guessing looking at the size of her. Whew, man. <laughs> she did not plan to do that. If this guy and this cute blonde girl sitting next to him hit it off, that's less time he got to spend on her. And depending on what kind of girl that blonde girl is, she might say, hey, look, I don't even want you hanging with her no more because you already know what it is because she does too. Guys, this is the best case scenario. And her being so upset, God mighty, if that chick could shoot heat vision, homie would be char broil right now, right there on that stage. It's crazy, man. But like I said before, guys, the moral of the story is do not grudge others what you cannot enjoy yourself. She's had plenty of time while he's been trapped in her friend zone to date this guy, to mate with this guy and have his kids. But she didn't want it. So don't act all butthurt now. Don't act all frustrated now that a better option for him, both short term and long term, quite literally fell right into his lap. Congratulations, you played yourself. That's all I got for the day, fellas. It's my time. Like the video? Comment down below. Share with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Never let your brother suffer. Silence from the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Until next time.